New 72 Radio, the voice, views, and visions of the collective. Hi, welcome to the practice of healing. I'm Sonia Wilder, and this is my broadcast for New 72 Media for Tuesday, August the 2nd of 2016. I'm so glad that you joined me. So before we begin, let's take three full deep breaths. Make sure that you're seated comfortably. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. So hopefully you're feeling grounded and centered and your parasympathetic nervous system of endorphins and relaxation has activated, kicked in, and gotten stronger. I know mine has. What I want to talk about today, lack. (laughs) I just spent almost a week in Mount Shasta, California, in, in the popular spiritual groups, it's known as the root chakra, the muladhara, the pelvic bowl, the chakra center of the planet. And, you know, some people say, well, that's debatable. Some people call it the crown chakra. That's not my experience. What I, what I experienced there is my pelvic bowl opening and this need to get down into my body, my energy more, and to get my basic needs met. As the root chakra is all about your basic physical needs and the kundalini sexual energy. So that's something that gets activated for me as well. There is more kundalini energy. And the messages that come through there for me when I go are always root chakra messages. So here is a message. Here's a theme that I received there in meditation and then several people brought this in and I ended up having conversations with several people about this. Lack. (laughs) Lack is something that we carry in the root chakra at the pelvic bowl, the base of the pelvic bowl. The root chakra is at the perineum between the genitals. And lack is about your basic human needs being met And the kundalini energy that starts at the base of the spine and moves up like a snake coil all the way through the chakras, through the nadis, through the shishimna nadi, the central channel in the body, all the way through the crown. And, you know, I had had conversations with several wise people. I'm so grateful for these conversations about lack. My mind still gets stuck in lack. Very annoying. I don't like it and I want to get out of it. So I have to practice being as consciously aware as possible so that when I'm speaking from I don't have or it's not there for me or there's no money, that's not true because that's all in the mind. I even created Tonya's wisdom, my little blurb that I, I do on my phone or my iPad about this which I'll post. Someone said to me, while my family and I were there in Mount Shasta, when I said, there's a lot of lack, and, and people speak lack, and this wonderful, amazing, wise person said to me, there is no lack. And it was just so simple and so obvious. And I sat with it, 
for a while. Um, you know, I, I talk about the matrix. It's a system that most of us live in that's designed for us to serve it at the expense of our life force. So when I'm talking to this beautiful person about the matrix, and this wise person says to me, there is no matrix. It doesn't exist anymore. It only exists here. And again, it's something that keeps coming through in meditation for me. And so to be able to hear it without, that this person was mirroring what was coming from within for me. There is no matrix. We hold it here. If we would all step out of the mindset of lack, oh, I have to conserve more. I'm going to have to cut back on my expenses. I'm going to have to cut back on my food because there's not enough. There's a country in economic crisis. Therefore, we have to live less, have less, not eat so much. I hear these words often from some of the, the key people in my life and some of my students and some of my clients. So I don't really have enough because we keep talking about it. And we keep living that way because we think that way. Of course there's abundance. We're source energy, having a human experience. There's no lack, it's an illusion. Source energy is abundance. It's expansive. And yes, it's contractive as well. And then after the contract, contraction comes expansion. It's all about experience. There is only abundance. Somewhere along the way in other lifetimes, we got in the habit and the mindset of there's not enough. And perhaps we decided to come into lifetimes to experience not enough or nothingness or this deep pain and deprivation in order to push us back into expansion and light. I feel that I did, and I remember many, many lifetimes where I did, where I was poverty stricken. I was still never without. I still had my heart, I still had my soul. I still loved, I was still there. It was only the illusion that it was gone. There's no lack. So we desire community, us as light workers, star seeds, star seed light workers, light workers. So we desire a beautiful community. I do talk about it with my people all the time. We desire partnership. I do. I desire my partner, my beautiful life man. We talk about this. We don't want to be in the monetary system anymore. We want to cut out the middleman. We want to cut out money. Money's not real. It's not. Money's not real. It's a neutral energy that you can put whatever you want to it. It's just a middle conduit of goods to services, services to goods, services to services, goods to goods. So we really want to get back to community if we really want to get into the trade bartering system, we have to start doing it. And it is starting. I mean, it's starting to happen. There's some wonderful sites online where there's no money that is allowed to be exchanged. You can only trade. You can only barter. I love, I love those sites. We need to start practicing trading and bartering because that's the value. So I was sharing with several of my key people, I consider them my family members, the concept of getting out of the matrix and lack. The importance of what is valued. Well, what's valued is keeping these human bodies alive and vibrant and healthy because this, the body is the only thing that you own on this planet. It is the vehicle that your soul uses to experience on this planet. And you make a new body every lifetime. You are the creator of this body. And you're very specific about how you create this body, the DNA that you 
tap into, take from in order to make these certain qualities of this body, considering what it is that you need to learn, the things you need to express in your soul's evolution. So anything that's going to keep your physical body healthy and strong is invaluable. And anything that's going to create an amazing experience, an enlightening experience, or an experience of change for your perception is also considered invaluable. That's what has value. So services and goods that keep the body healthy and strong and experiences so that we can change our perception so that we can get clearer because we're all on the path to enlightenment whether you're consciously aware of it or not or whether you've decided in this lifetime yes I'm on the path of enlightenment this is my last life that's completely your decision everybody's in their last life on this on this earth whether you ascend which is in yoga called Maha Samadhi, conscious death, or whether you're dying in this body, let the body die, and you go into a higher realm to finish your soul contracts that you've accumulated on the planet lifetime after lifetime, and you do it, you finish your soul contracts in a higher realm, that's very beautiful, that's your choice. But we're all having our last life here because this is a big ascension life on this planet. We're all raising our vibration. Everything is vibration. There is no lack. And what has value is keeping these beautiful human bodies alive, balanced, vibrating higher and higher. And the experiences of shifting our perception, the pineal gland in the middle back of the brain, that's the third eye, the brow chakra. That's where we have our inner vision, our inner light. We produce a DMT in the pineal gland and melatonin, a relaxing hormone, where we can open up and shift the pituitary gland in the middle, uh, sorry, in the front, bottom of the brain, where we can get the glands open, the endocrine system, and shift our perception so that we get clearer and more consciously aware so that we remember that we are creator of our own universe and we can make these decisions consciously and shift. It's very empowering. That sounds abundant, doesn't it? There's no lack there. Lack is in the mind. It's an illusion. And this is just becoming clearer and clearer and clearer to me every day. I'm grateful for my experience in Mount Shasta, California. In my perception, it is the root chakra, the muladhara of our beautiful Mother Earth. It always gets me grounded, always helps me to open up the pelvic bowl and to use this body more consciously and in more love. I always love myself more. So that's my insight today that I want to share with you. This is a powerful time. We are now in August. And for all of my amazing August 2nd friends, I have so many friends with birthdays on August 2nd. Happy solar return. Happy sun sign to all of you. Thank you for being in my life. At this time when we're preparing for September, Big shifts coming up in September. Anticipated big shifts. Planetary alignments. And there's supposed to be this big conscious opening, portal opening of deeper levels of awareness. I'm planning to go to Peru, to the Sacred Valley of the Incans. I'm planning to bring a group. There are spaces open on my tour for September 11th through the 24th to go to Cusco, Olentaytambo, and Machu Picchu, Peru, to work with the Quechas, the Incans, to have ceremony with the Pacos, the shaman, to hike the Andes, to eat the most amazing healing Peruvian food, 
to have the very healing cocoa leaves and tea and chewing the cocoa leaves and all the many other beautiful medicines of that region. Please contact me at Sonia Wilder Wellness at gmail.com for information about touring with me September 11th. There's spots open and I would love for you to join me. I'm also teaching a weekly online yoga class every Friday at 9 a.m. for one hour. All levels vinyasa flow. That's online on Zoom through New 72 Media. It's a wonderful class. So you can go to my website, soniawilderwellness.com, go to the yoga tab, and you can register. It's a wonderful way to practice yoga in the privacy of your own space through any of your devices. You're going to get a wonderful practice. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm always grateful. And thank you to Kelly Lair, my extraordinary producer and webmaster. I'm so grateful to you, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you to everyone in Mount Shasta, California, for all of your wisdom and your insight. I'm so grateful to that whole area. The Galactics, who came through at a much higher level for me, the multidimensional beings who also came through at a much higher level and gave me instant clarity even before I arrived. Thank you. I'm always grateful. Please love yourself, all of yourself. It's essential. Until next time, we are all, we are love.